hello and welcome to one another video uh, it's been a while since I uploaded my last video so I will be uh, asking uh, I will be answering a question that's been asked frequently in my Django video that I have done previously which is how can you uh, deploy your Django project into cPanel without terminal so in this project uh, in this short video I will show you how you, how you can incorporate the mysql server into a django project so for that we need to go to the cpanel and find the mysql wizard so uh, you can go ahead on manually but uh, it's basically easier to do with a wizard so clicking the user you can write the name of a database for example dj app 2 next step is having a user so dj app user and some password like one two three four sorry um let's generate the password so i'll just use this password and this password which is uh, very common um, then create the user as well and so we want to have it all privileges clicked make changes done so i have one database that has been uh, implemented so if we go to uh, mysql databases so here you can say there is two databases so my previous databases was this one so i'll be showing you how you how i integrated this database with my uh, django project so the most notable part here is the user uh, the database name the username and the password so let's show you my settings so in settings here so this used to be the old setting where the sqlite 3 database was the default database but uh, i have changed it uh, so made my mysql database as my default so for engine it's django.db.backend.mysql and sql mode is traditional then the name basically the name of the database uh, which is skiing bdc dj app and from here you can see it's already here this one now for user it's the user and for password it's the password for the user and for host it's the local host because uh, the mysql server is running on the local machine which from the django site or django project has been hosted and the port is 3306 so basically this is the port for the mysql database and to be able to uh, run it you need to have one more package installed in your mysql uh, in your django project so basically the package is mysql client so in here i have used the version 2.0.1 but you can use other versions as well so this is a must required if you want to use mysql database to your django project after you uh, incorporate this to your uh, required or uh, requirement.txt you need to just simply run uh, this one that in here i have added the file but you can run the pip install requirement.txt and one other thing that's uh, frequently been asked is how you can uh, create a super user without uh, uh, from this uh, portal so here you can learn one line command so how you can create basically a super user using one line command so this has a solution from this stack overflow uh, uh, stack overflow <coughs> question thread so uh, it has uh, we used one uh, pre-app basically already made app for finding this solution so be, I used for in my settings you can see that uh, here I have added this uh, application to my installed apps and then uh, basically run this command to create my super user on a single end so basically you don't need this part uh, just use this portion of the code 
so i will be linking uh, this thread in my video also my code is open source so you can find it on my github as well and that's about it uh, thank you so much for asking the questions and feel free to share your uh, likes comments and queries and probably give me some new ideas what i should be talking about next or making a video about next uh, i'm really sorry for uploading it really uh, long uh, in a very late because i was busy and i am currently doing a job so um i should as i said uh you guys suggest me something i'll make a video about it thank you